let's talk about the recoil concept. All right. Here it is. So what you're seeing here is kind of a different way of doing handheld. There's no counterbalance. The camera will sit right on your shoulder. As you can see, the shoulder pad is directly underneath the camera. Okay. What that what that means, though, is that you need several things. You need to have the EVF forward of the lens and in front of the camera, which is a little unusual. You need camera control in uh, this, your right hand and focus <laughs> control in the left hand so you never have to let go. All right, so with those three elements, you can recoil it. Let's and throw it on your shoulder. I'm gonna put it on my shoulder. Let's see how this feels. Okay, turn this way, Enz. Now, when you flip that lever halfway, see, I, it, you, I can slide it and get this right, get it right where you want it. Yeah, right here. Okay. Now I lock it. If I wanted to, I can go this way and I can just com completely pop it off. And then he would go right to the tripod right. with this plate. And that plate will work on, it's an Arca Swiss style plate. It'll work on a Zacuto uh, tripod plate, Kessler. a Kessler tripod plate, an Arca Swiss tripod plate, a really right stuff tripod plate. And you put the switch into the halfway mode, you can do whatever, you can get it where you want it, lock it in. Mm -hmm. That's the step one. You gotta be able to get the camera on your shoulder. Here we have what we call our, our dog bone EVF mount. And what's great about this thing is that you can see these, these dog bones. And essentially when I loosen this, I can put this anywhere in space. Uh, mm -hmm. And I can also take the EVF off and undersling it so that if, let's say you have an 18 millimeter lens, uh, in certain instances you could potentially see this, but not if you undersling it, because all the mechanism will be above it. So that's pretty critical. Uh, one of the nice features about this is that if I loosen all these joints, I can send this thing all the way back here. Look at how far you can get. Let's say the thing's down on the floor, you can tip it up and you don't have to crawl down on the floor. So it's a very versatile uh, viewfinder mount. And you can even use it for a regular monitor. Um, now while I have this up, let's take a look here. Here's the major thing you need. And this is all brand new. What this is, is a new kind of follow focus that has this U-joint technology, which is, I don't even want to call it technology because it's really nothing different than what we had in our cars in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. It's a transmission, direct drive follow focus. Why don't you show them how it works, Jens? Right. So the, the, <clears throat> the main feature of it is that you can aim it down and away from your face because when you're in a recoil, the lens is practically almost behind me. But by using this here and having this in this position, now I can reach the follow focus, okay? And we can enhance the follow focus by putting on the tornado. And essentially, I'm adding a grip, so I never have to let go and grab the follow focus, but I can, yet, I can still turn and focus the camera with never letting go. So it's very, camera's very still. Right, when now show them, we'll go right into the camera here. Turn this way a wee bit. Now show them how rock solid you can, I mean, it's a tripod, look at that. Now, if you are grabbing something, you tend to get this kind of rocking motion like this. Well, traditional follow focus is you got to let go and grab. So, you know, that's the advantage to this tornado.